That's some good coffee, guys. Mm. Mm. Now, let's get this shit started. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night if you're about to sleep. Hi, my name is Phil, and this is my channel, and welcome to Mornings with Phil. Cue music. Ta-da! Yeah, I have to work on that, so... So, how are you guys? I hope everyone's still fine there. I know it's a rough period, but, you know, just hang on, stay strong, and shower. I know most of you haven't taken their shower yet. Mm -mm. I can smell you. <sighs> so, last time we talked about Ed and Rose from episode... What episode was it? Um, 11, yes! So, that was a crazy episode also because Ed confronted her about her sister. Now, today we're gonna talk about episode 12. It's gonna get explosive. I would describe about it. Now, let's get into it. So, last time Ed was talking to his friend Rich that he's gonna tell Rose about his plans about the future. He doesn't want any kids anymore. So Ed and Rose moved to the swimming pool area because, you know, Ed was a bit sissy. He doesn't want to swim in the beach because he doesn't like the sand. Ugh. So both of them jumped into the swimming pool, including the cameraman of TLC. I hope they're getting paid big time because they also did like underwater shots. It wasn't a pleasant sight also. So it kind of looks that Ed and Rose were having fun. So I was a bit surprised how light rose was actually ed grabbed her and threw her off the swimming pool just like a piece of paper i want to be skinny like rose oh yeah she has ulcer uh, i'll pass so after that they were having fun and all so they all settled down and ed was ready to talk about the vasectomy so rose was sitting down and then she said i like the view and then ed said you're my best view and then rose said yeah mind you we filipinos make a lot of strange sounds because that's how we communicate to one another i'll give you an example where are you going watch a chair and there's still more actually and then after ed's break it down and tells rose that i don't want to have kids anymore nay 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 and then he tells her that he's going to have a vasectomy and at first, like, Rose was like, um, I don't understand, sir. And then how Ed explains vasectomy to Rose was kind of a bit funny, actually. He said that it's an operation in here. It's a coat and coat. Snip, snip. Yes, that's how he explained it. You can watch the show, guys. And Rose was kind of a bit sad, actually. Very disappointed. But you can't blame her because Rose has been telling Ed from the beginning that she wants kids. More kids. Then Ed explains that he has enough money for himself, for Rose, her son Rich, and that's it. He's not rich at all. Well, it is understandable. You know, having kids, it's not easy. It's very difficult. And you have to sacrifice a lot of time and also cost a lot of money. But the problem was not that. The problem is Ed concealed the truth from the beginning, way before Ed came to the Philippines. And this has to be very disappointing to Rose or any woman wanting to have a child or more children in her case. But what's funny is that Ed says that he has enough money for himself and for Rose and her child. But after they filmed the show the whole season, Ed utilized a lot of social media platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and I don't know, uh, MySpace, Friendster. He was trying to market himself and giving business advices to people and also how to earn more money yeah uh, it makes you wonder so the next day ed woke up and found out rose was not in the room anymore and then he goes to the window and then shows off his magnificent glorious back view as he's watching through the windows he was posing like a professional underwear model mm -mm, look at that muffin top mm, uh. Mm, mm, uh, mm. So Ed went out and tried to look for her and then he said he looked everywhere in the hotel but he just went directly to the restaurant as you can see in the series and then directly sit down because he's a lazy slob. 
I'm pretty sure that the producers and the crew members were the one looking for Rose. Then a few minutes later, Rose came because the producers told her to. So then Rose explained that she needed time to think. And she was thinking about what Ed said to her the other day. And tells Ed that she wants more children because that's her dream. And I know some of y'all are judging her. Having kids, having more kids is more expensive and stuff like that. Everyone has their own dreams. For example, you want to have a car. You want to have an iPhone. I want to go to Paris, blah, blah, blah. Those are expensive, right? So she has the right, right? Then this is where Rose dropped the bomb to Ed. She asked why that Ed didn't tell her from the beginning. Then Ed was like, why do you... He was just stuttering all over. Then Rose asked, why now? Why? Or the day before? Or the day before you came here to the Philippines? Or when they just started chatting? Then Ed explained he wanted to know first if both of them are compatible for each other. Like Ed, um, Rose wants children from the beginning and you don't. You're not compatible. And Ed said, I wanted you to see who I am. Weh. Then Rose gave the best disgusted face to Ed. Mm-mm, Ed. When Filipinos make that face, it means we judge you completely. We ain't dumb. Then Rose said, I know who you are. Holy shit. Rose just released a nuclear bomb. Now Rose breaks everything down what Ed did to her. First, his height. Second, the STD test. Then the mouthwash. And also about her sister asking money. And then she said to Ed, like, you make me feel like a tiny person. Which is kind of ironic because Ed is smaller. And then she said, like, you really don't love me at all. I'm done. Ooh. And Ed was like, he had this confused face all throughout the episode. This has to be my favorite moments in 90 days actually. It just shows that even Rose is still young. She really stood strong and really made her point. Despite of what Ed did to her from the beginning, she was really patient and understanding at first. And for those bitches bashing her that she just wanted a green card and a better life going to America, she could have just said yes. Okay, I'm fine with not having children. Let's go to America. Nay, nay, bitches, nay. So I thought this was the last episode, but I'm very intrigued what, what will happen next. As you can see, guys, Ed has a lot of social media platforms. He's everywhere. It's kind of a bit tiring watching his videos. I saw a couple of videos. He just keeps marketing himself and do weird stuff. I, I don't know. He... He was wearing like a chicken costume and even a Mexican wrestler. Really weird. And then he's giving business advices to people and stuff like that and motivates people. Well, that's good actually, but the show really reflected what he really is. And I don't want to take advices from a guy like that. Meanwhile, Rose also have social media accounts, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. I'm not sure with Facebook, but I'll look into it. I follow her on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. She has already made two videos in YouTube. It's more about her and also, also a game with her son. It's kind of cute, guys. You should watch it. I'm really excited on what will happen next. We all know that they're not together anymore. And I hope there will be like an official interview with Rose because Ed has been accepting a lot of interviews in America. And Rose, I haven't seen anything. It's just her Instagram live. Despite everything, people are really supporting Rose. She gained a lot of followers than Ed. But anyway, that's all guys. And if you have any questions or suggestions, just tell me. You can just comment down the comment box below. Of course, subscribe me. Okay, and you can follow my other social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and oh yeah, Twitter, yes. And a gentle reminder, is stay home, wash your hands, and again, shower for those who haven't showered yet, and maintain social distancing, hope for the better, and don't die. That's all, okay? So, goodbye.